every time. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a TBR video in a while, but today we're gonna be talking about my August TBR. I know what you're thinking, Sarah, why do you have so many books on your TBR? And you know what? I have proven to myself that I can read a good amount of books in a month. That being said, my TBRs have grown exponentially. I have some books that I'm going to get you this month that like I really want to you know, that's why TBRs are hard because I'm one, a mood reader, two, I film videos where like I have to read specific books for that video and like it changes, you never know. So making a TBR is difficult because then I'm like, if I don't get to that book, which has happened every single month when I do make a TBR, that I get disappointed in myself. But you know what? It's fine. TBRs are fun. You have to like set the mood for the month. We are a few days into the month, so I have read a couple books already, but it's fine. This is for the rest of the month. Like I said, some of these are going to be maybes, but some of them I like really want to get to. And also depending on the videos that I'm filming this month or that I have planned for this month, it could change. I also have a few on my Kindle that I really want to read. I've been trying really hard to continue reading books on my Kindle. I read my Kindle on my phone, so like read books on my phone. So I do have two or three on here that I really want to get to. But we're gonna start with the paperbacks first. So I kind of split them up a little bit of what I want to read and then like the maybes. So the maybes will be at the end, but this is what I am going to read this month. This is called The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I once saw this on Haley Pham's YouTube channel video when she read this. She was just like shook by the book. So I'm very excited to read this. I honestly don't even know what it's about at all. I know it's a thriller. I did read one mystery slash thriller last month so I did get into it and I'm very excited to read more. This one says Casey recently widowed actress tries to escape a steak of bad press retreats to a peace and quiet over family's lake house in Vermont. She has a pair of binoculars, several bottles of bourbon, passes time watching Tom and Catherine. A couple living in the house across the lake. One day, Casey saves Catherine from drowning. They strike a friendship. Where they get to know each other, the longer Casey watches, the more it becomes clear that Catherine Tom's marriage isn't as perfect as it seems. Then Catherine vanishes. That sounds interesting. Well, let me know if you read this. Let me know if you read any of these books, your opinions and stuff. I'd like to know before I go into them, but I'm very excited for this. I think it was gonna be really soon. I'm gonna read this, so that should be fun. All right, and then I have the rest of the Shatter Me series. So I've been reading the Shatter Me series the past couple months, and I've been loving them. They're are just such good mood reads, quick, fast, entertaining books. So I've gotten up to Restore Me, so I have two novellas left and then two like normal books, book five and six. Well, not two novellas because there's two in each novella. I don't know, it gets kind of confusing. People ask me about the order and stuff. I literally just have to keep Googling it because I don't get it either. But basically the novellas are two in one kind of thing. And then you have like the real books. I don't know. Google really tells you everything. So that's what I've been doing. But if you haven't heard of Shatter Me, it's basically by Juliet. She has a lethal touch. This is dystopian fantasy. The government is called the Establishment. They like, have control over everyone, control over Juliet, and she kind of has this power that if she touches anyone, they die, and it's like that mixed with romance. There's a lot of fun characters, easy reads. I love it so much, and the covers. Some people hate the covers and just won't buy it because of it, but I think that they're really pretty, especially all together. Now that I have every single book all stacked on top of each other, it looks so good so i really want to get to those and i'm very excited to okay and then i have a couple ellen hildebrand books i need to get to this month before the summer's over clearly ellen is just the epitome of summer for me so i have two more left on my shelf this is the matchmaker and then golden girl this is the little version i love little books but this one i'm pretty sure is about a woman who has a gift for matchmaking she kind of puts together couples and stuff but then a man from her past comes back into the picture that she used to love something like that it's like kind of like a second chance romance in ellen's writing that i'm really excited to read about I heard this one was like a really really good one, but it's gonna be a fun love story. I love Ellen I just read the hotel in Nantucket a few days ago and I just I want to go to Nantucket so bad All of her books if you didn't know or majority of them take place in Nantucket. This is a golden girl. I'm very excited about this one Pretty sure this is about a woman who dies during a hit and run. She's granted like three She says back here nudges to change the outcome of events on earth and she's kind of from the beyond watching her death Investigated I think there's kind of like a mystery going on But what I love is that the investigator his name is Ed Kapanesh. He is the investigator in every book that's taking place on Nantucket that has like a investigator cop guy involved and I love when he shows up in books I just love that character so kind of a mystery but also told in a cool point of view so I'm excited for this one love Ellen so much staying on the summer vibes I've had this for a while and it was recommended to me a while ago so I still haven't read it but I've had it for so long and I really want to read it it just seems like a very nice literary fiction friendship type of thing it's called One Summer in Paris this woman had her wedding anniversary planned in Paris but then I'm pretty sure something happens between them but she ends up going alone she 
meets this Paris girl, they become friends, they spend summer together. Sounds really, really cute. But I've had it for so long on my shelf, so I really want to try to get to it this month. The last three that I would like to get to this month is this one. It's called If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. Cover is, I'm not going to lie, a little creepy, but I saw this on TikTok. She said, or the sound was like a five-star read that made you cry. And then she was like, this is the only book that's ever done that for me. I don't know, something like that. And it was this book. So I went to Amazon, ordered it that day, and I want to read it this month. I don't know exactly what it's about. And I can't even explain it from reading the back. Finn and Sylvie were arguing while they were driving. And then I'm pretty sure something happens to them. And then it says, no one never says what they were arguing about. The cause of the argument is crucial. So let me tell you. So I guess the main character knows what really happened. I don't know. It seems like a mystery mixed with a romance, which is always something I enjoy. And the TikTok, all the comments were like, this is literally such a good book. So I'm excited about that. And then these two, I say I'm going to get to them, but am I really... I have no idea. First one, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have been putting this off for so long because I have a feeling I'm not gonna like it. I don't wanna read another Taylor Jenkins Reid book, not like it and disappoint myself and probably other people that are waiting for me to read it or just know my feelings of other TJR books. I don't like her writing. Personal opinion, I didn't want, I don't even wanna say it, but I people say to listen to the audio because you get every character's like voice and it sounds so much better but like audiobooks are hard for me because I feel like I need to read a book if I listen to an audio and I finish it I feel like I didn't really like read the book you know it feels different but I don't know I want to try to get to it I'm just really nervous about this one and that's why it has not been read yet and it's just been sitting on my shelf but I feel like I should also I think there's a show coming out movie slash show it is also enticing because Ellen Hildebrand review is on the back so maybe I'll get to it I feel like I need to and then the last one is The Flash Air by Bethel Leary I've seen a TikTok actually recently saying that this is such an underrated book it's a really cute just like romance about a boy and a girl who are roommates in the same flat but they have different schedules so they never see each other they just kind of leave notes for each other and they don't know who each other are and i think that's like really interesting so i really need to read this and get to it hopefully this month those are all the books that i feel like i'm going to get to this month the ones on my kindle that i really want to read they're all unlimited so if you are interested as well these are the books so first one is called say you swear by Megan Brandy. This one I've been recommended so many times I'm not even kidding. So I really want to get to it. It's about, it says my brother's best friend broke my heart but what happens when his new teammate wants to put it back together? She's in college. I don't know but I've heard it was really good. I heard a lot or I was told by so many people that I would really like it. So I'm excited. I've also seen so many people give it such high ratings. Cover is kind of interesting. It's just a man shirtless with a football. So, okay, then I want to read When Fate Breaks. One of my reading wrap-ups a few months ago, maybe it was June, I've read a lot of childhood friends to lovers or second chance romance type of tropes in books and I asked for your guys' recommendations of ones and this one got recommended to me like a lot. The cover is very interesting, something with like a greenhouse. She's moving into home of her dreams with her fiance. The house has an old greenhouse in the backyard and she finds a memento from the past she thought was long gone and realizes there's only one person for the job, which is Blake and it's been six years since they spoken. Maybe it's not childhood friends lovers but it's second chance romance from what I'm getting and we know that that is a very loved trope on this channel. So very excited for that. Those are the two Kindle books that I really want to read. They're on Kindle Unlimited. That is that and then I have these maybes. So this is if I'm not feeling any of these books. I have this that I could fall back on to and this is me giving you this video saying my TBR from the books I already have in my room slash bookshelves. This is not after I go to Barnes like two times this month. Maybe three times. I don't know what books I'm gonna end up buying and putting above these ones it happens every month so that's why tbr videos are hard because you know i just feel disappointed when i don't get to them but it's fine okay these are my babies the books that i have on my shelves that i want to get to but i'll be fine or i'll feel okay if i don't if i just hold them out till september or october so all the bright places by jennifer niven this is i'm pretty sure a young adult and it's about a boy who is fascinated by death like he thinks of ways he might die like every day like very dark and then you have violet who is the opposite like she is living for the future loves future there's opposites and i'm assuming throughout the book they connect i've heard that this made a lot of people cry but i do want to read it i also still have the target sticker on but it's also a netflix film so that is interesting that is one of them and then these ones i've shown on my channel a few times now but you were there too by colleen oakley i don't know why i never gravitate towards this even though the summary is really interesting i just have this like weird feeling that it's gonna disappoint me i don't know that but i just never really seen it anywhere i just picked it up at barnes one day but it's about this woman who has like a normal life husband and stuff but she dreams about 
with this man in her head and then they move her and her family and she sees that man like in real life and she thinks it's like fate and stuff so it seemed interesting right you would think i'm just nervous to read it and then i have the truth hurts by rebecca reed i've also i actually started this book i think i got like 10 pages in and then i stopped and started a different book i liked the cover at barnes and i just picked it up i've literally never seen it anywhere else it's about a woman is on vacation she, i think she's like a nanny or something and she meets this guy and they just like have like a sudden romance they get married and stuff they live on his like estate like i don't know he's rich but she knows nothing about his past and then his past kind of comes to life and she kind of just starts to doubt him his intentions and stuff so it's kind of like a mystery romance thing which i do enjoy but i don't know whenever i pick up a book that i've never seen anywhere it just like interests me reading the back i feel like it's gonna disappoint me because i've never seen it anywhere like it's not popular but like it doesn't have to be popular to be good so you never know gonna have to try that and then i have throttled the first book in the dirty air series by lauren asher i am nervous to read this one because it's a series i don't know if i want to start a series but i'm gonna read it eventually so it's gonna happen this one is about maya who brother's new teammate so is this brother's best friend and then noah says that maya is a forbidden temptation i don't know this sounds interesting i've read her dreamland billionaire series those two books and i did enjoy them i just they were kind of like very similar to me i don't know i'm gonna just see when i get to this but i do have the start of the series and i've seen which is the one that everyone loves is it called collided i could be making this up i don't know but I have that one. And then the last one, I actually just got this in the mail. This is called The Liar's Crown by Abigail Owen. And the cover is just really, like I'm really enjoying this cover. And this is a fantasy. So it's about twin princesses and she is the second sister. So the older twin sister is the one that's kind of for show. She does all the princess stuff. But like when there's something like dangerous that needs to happen or something, they send in the second sister, which is the main character. She's getting a proposal to be wed and they don't trust him. So she goes in her sister's place and then she gets kidnapped and yeah i think she like falls in love with the kidnapper <laughs> something like that the cover was really interesting the story's really interesting so i don't know i want to read that eventually i've also been reading a few hardback hardcover books which i have been really not like loving but i'm not hating them as much as i used to like holding them doesn't affect me like i used to just hate holding hardcover books but i have these two i got from book of the month a few months ago and i've been dying to read them and i don't know when i will but i just look at them every day i'm like oh, one day i'm gonna pick them up but the first one is apples never fall by leanne moriarty i love her writing she's one of the authors that got me into reading i think it was big little lies the husband's secret the hypnotist love story what was the other one there was one more i forgot the name but i just like i loved her book she kind of reminds me a little mix of like ellen but this says if your mother goes missing would you tell the police so this is a thriller mystery and i've never read i mean big little lies kind of was a mystery thing whatever this one is kind of like a mystery but your mother was missing would you tell the police even if the most obvious suspect was your father this is the dilemma facing the four grown delaney siblings so that just sounds interesting and it says apples never fall and that's saying apples or, or apple what is it called what is that saying never fall apples don't fall far from the tree something like that so i'm like did one of the siblings do it i don't know i want to say that that's all of the books that i am gonna try to get to this month again with the videos i film and me going book shopping this month there could be other ones so it'll be a surprise to all of us when my august monthly wrap-up video comes and we see what books i ended up reading because you know what i could throw us off for a loop and just not read any of these that's why these videos are deceiving but it's fine okay that's my august tbr as of right now let me know if you read any of these if you want to read any of these if you're going to maybe we're going to be reading them at the same month that could be fun but yeah hope you guys enjoyed i will see you hopefully in the next one bye